little bit better. I have a recombinant DNA demonstration where I have a garden hose that is my plasmid. And I just need one volunteer to help me hold the plasmid because I have to do several things. So is there anybody that? Yes, please come down. OK. And while he's coming down, I will show you my plasmid. This is an ordinary garden hose. And this is representing what? The ampicillin gene, ampicillin resistance gene. That's one of my selectable markers. And this represents what? The Laxne gene. And what does this represent? Uh, yeah, restriction site. This is the site. OK, so if you can hold this. And your name is, I, um, no, let me think. I know your name. You told me in discussion. I can't remember. Andre. OK, sorry. OK, so if you just hold it like this, that would be good. OK, so now I am the restriction enzyme. And I come in, and there's only one site. And I open it up. And we now have two sticky ends, one here and one there, that have very particular sequences, right? So now I have three pieces of foreign DNA. And I cut them all with different enzymes. Which one do you think I should try in here? Or which one do you want to eliminate for trying in this? Orange one. Why are we going to eliminate this? No sticky ends. It was cut with a blunt end cutter. So that one is not going to work. OK, so now how about which one of these would you like to try? Yellow. yellow. OK, let's go in and try yellow. Let's see. Put it in there. It looks like it's going to go. Nope. Had the right, it had sticky ends, but it didn't fit in there, right? So it didn't form what bonds? Hydrogen bonds, exactly. OK, so we're going to try this one in here. And now if we hold it up here, just all the way up at the top. There we go. Ah, OK, so we had hydrogen bonds that formed. And then a DNA ligase came in and formed what bonds right here and here? Phosphodiester bonds, exactly. So now we have a plasmid that has a piece of foreign DNA. What did we disrupt here? The lax EG. So what color colony is this going to form? White, exactly. OK, very good. So now, if we take this off, what else can happen to this? Somebody said it sticks back together. Exactly. So that's the religated plasmid. And you have to tell this one from the one that had the orange in it. So what color is this? Blue. Blue. Very good. Thank you very much, Andre. Okay. And I have just a little a drawing up here. So here's our original plasmid with our single restriction site here, our ampicillin resistance gene. In a recombinant plasmid, we put in a um, a piece of DNA, right? So now we put in a 400 base pair piece of DNA. And because we disrupted the laxy gene, it now forms white colonies. But it still has an intact ampicillin resistance gene, so it can grow on an amp plate. That's only some of them. Many of the, uh, the plasmids in this reaction will actually close up on themselves, re-ligate, and they will be able to be selected against because they form blue colonies. And I'm not going to be choosing these. I'm going to be choosing these because I want bacteria that contain recombinant plasmids. And I can see it easily. I can pick them off and go uh, and do the rest of my experiments. 